So here we are. Another week I have to start off with an apology. Uh, which, if I had known I would have to do this much apologizing when making content, I maybe would have just stayed with my wife and made porn. But um, I want to apologize because uh, this week I shot the ugly update the same way that I normally shoot uh, the mine lane, which of course was more focused on me than on what's going on with Ugly Gang. So my bad, fam. But on the other hand, um, everybody played well this week. Maybe except me. I mean, the only person who played worse was that Malphite who kept trying to ult me. Poor soul. But, yeah. Welcome to the mine lane. We're back like CM Punk. I love when you can hear the fire start. Like, the fact that you can hear the crackle is magnificent to me. All right. So, first things first. Same strategy. New lineup. Again. Because that just be life. But we did okay. I can't remember if we were 0-2, 1-2. I think we were 0-2. Um, no, nah, that's not true. We were 1-2. But we made it close. Okay, so we were 0 2. It was against FTD Black, um, who, you know, engaged in very frivolous, you know, gang banging of the bottom, which, you know, look, fam, I am not really polyamorous. And while I am in, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that alone. Um, I'm not really in the middle of my whole phase. So if you could stop trying to bring all those dicks to my bottom, I'd appreciate it. Um, I get it. Your laners are ass. You know that if you don't come hold their hand, I will steamroll them, and it'll make life harder at 15 minutes when we have to go into the mid lane um, mid-game, or when we go in the mid lane and rotate mid. But yeah, I mean, just wasting your jungler's time bringing them down here and your top laner TPs just to you know, wind up being kills on my mantle. I mean, let's be real here. You, you know I'm a flame you, right? You know I'm a flame you. I know you I'm a flame you. You know that I know I'm a flame you. So when you come down here, you're probably trying to bring your A game so you don't wind up getting Googled at, giggled at. God, I can't talk today. But y'all still do it. And I mean, I appreciate the persistence, but maybe just leave me alone till 15 minutes and wait till I fuck up because you're not going to fuck me up. Okay, so it's not the same strategy game if I don't suggest something risky to hassle the uh, jungler level, early levels that winds up backfiring on us. Um, that is part of the issue with moving from mid lane to bot lane, is that I am perpetually like, where's the jungler? Can I, you know, make his life a little harder? Can I, you know, leverage some pressure somewhere? Because I always have pressure bot lane. They're always going to bring uh you know their jungler so can i fuck with their jungler while he's here except i wind up getting my support killed because i'm bad and we give a kill to the viego nothing worse than that we gave the kill to viego my fault my fault team so the roam of course lets us really good vision and we know your jungler's going to be here. I'm a pain in the ass. We know your jungler's going to be here. Right? At this point, it's, 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 a, it's a fact of life. It's whether or not your jungler can be here before I'm ready to murder. Right? So they kill Viego instantly. And the fucking fantastic, fantastic shot wave by Fritz. Right? And now, it's just the chase downs. bloop de bloop de bloop Snowflower with the great hooks in the middle of the fight. Just 
and landing phase is over. Landing phase is over. So here we go. Here's your jungler again. That's a very nice flash out from the Tarek. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Again, the pressure, the pressure is here to make you come down here. Even if we go a little too greedy. Even if we get too greedy, we're ahead of the play. We're just, you know. So here we are. We're 11 minutes in. I'm 102. We're about even in CS. They have to go back. We don't. So we're going to force them off a wave. Mm-hmm. Look at that reset city, baby. Yeah. Get outplayed. We know you're bringing goons. Send more goons. So, uh, yeah, don't window shop. So that's either two or three with Baron. I'm four oh and four. So here we go. We force them out. We predict the play. We force them out. Viego comes out. Snowflower gets him out, but he uh, does get away. We managed to kill uh, Tarek. And we're just trying right now. And there you go. Viego slowed. Viego dead. Like I said. Now come the TPs, though. I'm trying to get more damage, trying to get as much damage as possible. And then, because you know, because I'm a greedy boy. I die just sticking around like a dumbass. So I'm not going to show you the rest of the game because this is pretty much, this is what the game looks like, okay? This is what the game looks like. We aren't able to split them up enough, right? We catch somebody out. The Tariq plus the Kenan ult plus the, you know, we, and that's it. Like, that's basically the game. It's basically a whole lot of Kenan uh cc'ing everybody i mean there's nice plays later but yeah that's pretty much how it was so game two we pick sever because uh pressure baby pressure also they first pick tristana because they don't they're scared and we just get the pressure on them early We just keep being awesome. Right? Keep being the, the great player that I am. For 15 minutes. It kind of reminds me of like... So, there's this thing when uh, long-time amateur fighters go pro. Where they say, such and such is one of the best three-round fighters of all time. But, you know, they say this about uh, Yoria Kuzangamboa, who's actually one of my favorites. Um, you know, one of the great three round fighters of all time, but if you get him to 12 rounds, just come on, bro. Come on, bro. You know, but 
it's figuring out how to convert these leads, this pressure, into wins that I'm struggling with. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I kind of, I'm not gonna lie. We're not doing the best at. But like we've already forced her. She's already down like six, seven CS on the Tristana, and there's Viego again. Bring a friend. Oh, the Ignite gets her. But it goes to Leona, so we'll live with that. Don't tell anybody, I just rubbed the ash off. So, I like this play, actually. Both from them and from us. But, like, so Viego's sneaking in for a lane gank. We brock the lance, we flash the, the stun, and then look, we know you're coming. Shin hits the nice uh, Shin ult, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's... We know what you want to do early game. We know you're going to come here, because otherwise I'm going to make your ADC take 10 more minutes to come online. We know it. Like, we're, we're, we're on it. We've, both in the first game and this game, we've done a great job of that, and in uh, controlling dragons because of it. It's literally like cohesion and rotation which we'll get you know like orbit says we're a learning org um or a learning team but like yeah no bruh bruh tell tell your tell your players to stop trying to skill check me that's not popping off so again stop trying to skill check me fam So we block the stun, we outrun the ult with, with our ult, and uh, yeah, now your ADC is getting hammered. And then, here you go, here, here's the big misplay. I missed my Q. That should have been a double kill. But yeah, again, don't. Just don't. Hey, homie, just don't. So here you go, again. Bring all your friends. Send more goons, send more goons. We ult. Snowflower with a great play. We get ignited. And we try to tether correctly. We went maybe a little too far back. Trying to stay out of range of all the issues. And then, you know, Viego just has so many things, but... Yeah, no. However, I do not time the spell shield on the slow. And so, yeah. Yeah, just... Just, you know, my fault for not outplaying all the way. But that's got to be a little bit tilting, at least. It's got to feel bit. And again, the Viego. Maybe we should be in Viego. I don't know. So we need to talk about their comp, by the way. They put this mid lane Nasus, which was absolutely smart, brilliant, and fantastic. The fucking slows out of this mid lane Nasus and the Wither. Just, oh my god, bro. Oh my god. So, you know, it'd be like that. But it's okay, though, because like I said, we got you. We'll get you next time. We're getting better every week. Uh, even if we lost O2, we kept it very close. Um, we got to figure out our kind of our balance on how to engage versus how to not engage, and then having someone who scales really, really well, because that's basically what's been happening is we get ahead, we don't capitalize on it in the mid game and then in the late game we are either getting busted up by somebody stupid as press r comp or we are uh getting busted up by somebody's uh super scaling so you know not worried about it though because uh 
I'm getting better. I'm getting smoother. And y'all know by the end of the split, everybody's just going to be getting roasted. So be careful and uh, send more goons because Mind Lane Kingdom is now eating your ganks and turning them into our wins, especially now that our team is, is, is kind of playing towards it and just setting traps like, hey, we're going to press. We're going to press. We're going to press. You're going to send somebody. We're going to kill them. Our jungler is going to collapse. And we're all going to laugh and take a bunch of dragons. So... Be ready. <laughs> 